My name is Trey Click. I'm the Executive Director of the Historic Downtown Galveston Partnership, and I've worked as a volunteer with the City of Galveston for many years, serving on several boards and commissions. I, I communicate and I answer questions and deal with, when people in downtown, they know that we're there. And they also know that we have, over the years, developed the, we're the conduit, if you will, for downtown to City Hall. So that we're asked, oftentimes, we're asked when there are issues that come up, the city asks us our opinions, ask us to poll our, uh, our membership and those kinds of things so that we get an idea of what the business owners, property owners, etc., want for downtown. The most exciting for me right now is the trolley committee. And I was part of a, a, a small group of people that came together several years ago when there was had to, the decision had to be made about whether to bring them back or not. And there was there were certainly financial concerns and financial issues. And a small group of us got together and decided we really thought that the trolley was could be iconically Galveston. And so we worked with the city and uh, the city formed a committee for us and uh, we brought the trolleys back. So we're currently working. It's a long process. Uh, and so we're currently uh, working to bring those back and we hope that by uh, sometime in 2018, you'll see that we have trolleys back. I am a third generation BOI. Uh, my parents grew up, both of my parents are from Galveston and they're both from the same street in Galveston. So when I came to visit Galveston, we always just stayed on one street because all of my family was there. Over the years, I, my, we would visit all the time. My grandmother was very involved in starting the startup again of the Galveston Historical Foundation, of which their first property was the Williams home on Avenue O. And that, uh, as a child, because there weren't volunteers, they were real volunteers, but there was about five or six of them. There weren't the thousands they have now. So as a child, when I came to Galveston, I would work like in the yard, I was a little child, would work in the yard, I painted that porch the first time and all those kinds of things. So I have a real connection. And my grandmother was the, what, the second president of the Galveston Historical Foundation. And so I, I feel very connected to Galveston. My great grandparents were buried in the cemetery on Broadway. Uh, I hope that we can take the concept of Galveston is a diamond in the rough and we can actually move forward to making part of that happen. We, we, we don't need to, to, we won't be able to create something overnight, but we have to be able to put steps in front of us that we can achieve. So if we, if we make these blocks of, of where we wanna go, and we need to come together as a community to decide what that path is, because everyone has a different idea of what a diamond is, because you know, sometimes a diamond can be a cubic zirconia and what we want is a diamond. And so what we want to do is have a pathway that's achievable. Uh, we've done, over the years, we've done so many plans and, and studies that sometimes are great and they're, they're, they're incredible, but you have to start somewhere. And I hope that we could come together. And that's, that's really why I give my time, because I feel like we could, that we can. First of all, you meet wonderful people who are interesting and they're, they're cool people because they have the same kinds of ideas that you do and that they want to make, they want to make change happen in, in, a good, in a better way. And so I mean, I would encourage anyone and everyone to volunteer and, because if not, you're going to see me over and over and over again. And we need new faces, we need new ideas and new blood. One person help working can make change. We, we can't affect change. And so I think that it's, it's, it's incumbent on every citizen to do something. It doesn't matter what that something is, but it's to do something. Uh, I've, I'm involved in the things that I like to do that it interests me, mostly about downtown issues. And it's, I feel like you, you can't really ever complain about things if you're not part of the solution.